Hi everybody, welcome to the fifth lesson. In this lesson we'll be looking at how to create a really super simple image slider using dynamic panels in Axior. So here in front of us, this is the finished prototype and in the browser, we can see how this works. So really simple, left and right arrows and something in the middle of the slider changes. Really simple. So let's go back to Axior and look at how we can do this. So let's create a new page and call this slider. So I kind of think that image sliders have fallen out of popularity a little bit, but I think they can still be really useful on things like marketing sites, landing pages and blogs. So let's let's have a look and see how we might do this. So the first thing that we want to do is drag a big box onto the canvas and make this quite large. So something like that. Double click inside and let's call this slide one. Let's bold that and whack up the font size like 36. Okay, cool. So first thing we want to do is convert this straight into a dynamic panel. Right click and let's name our dynamic panel slider. Okay, cool. So let's double click on our dynamic panel and then we'll have our first state. What we want to do is duplicate that state three times it's three and we can just rename these so slide one slide two and slide three okay cool so what we want to do is change the text on each state now so state one is fine we've done that one so let's click on state two change that to two save get out of that state and then let's finally change state three to state three okay cool so let's go back to the canvas okay cool so next we want to add our left and right hand side controls so on the widget library over here if we change this to icons and we scroll down we'll see some left and right arrows so let's drag a couple of these onto our design like so, make sure those are nice and aligned. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is add an on-click event for both our left and right arrow. So we'll start with the right-hand one first. Let's highlight the icon. And then on the right-hand side here in the properties panel, we will have on-click. So let's double-click that. And what we want to do is set the panel state of our slider to loop. So we've done this in a previous lesson. So what we do here is set the panel state of our slider to next. And then what that will do is that will just constantly loop round. We'll double check wrap from last to first. So that will constantly loop when the user interacts with that button. And let's click OK. Then what we'll need to do for the left hand button is exactly the same at an on-click event set the panel state of the slider and we'll simply want to change that to previous and then wrap from first to last okay all right let's save that and preview that in chrome and see where we're at with that hide the menu items so we've got a right and left arrows and as we can see those are looping around in a really simple fashion from back to front and that's it. I told you it was super easy. So in the next and final lesson, we'll be looking at how to create draggable elements using dynamic panels in Axior.